Okay. Okay, so when we first uh, started with Network Field Day, we, we basically talked to you guys about what we were building before we brought it to market. Um, so we're going to do the same today. We're going to be talking to you about and showing you some things that we've built over the last year that we've never announced or shown. And it's, it's, a, it's a big deal, we think, for the marketplace in general. And it has to do with IoT and being able to, to manage and secure and, and, and understand how IoT devices are working in your network. That's just one part of it. But I want to give you a little bit of, uh, of, of uh, uh, refresh on kind of what we do, just so we all are all on the same page. Um, so we built uh, what really today, thanks to you guys, is the largest uh, network analytics platform on the planet. Um, and we, to, to justify that, you know, we, we now, it, we have a site called Voyance Live. And what that is, is it's just a way for us to, um, to show you the, the breadth and scope of kind of what we built. So we built a network analytics platform that's, that's in the cloud. Um, it, we sell it both on-premise as a private cloud solution, but our core platform is in AWS. Um, and we're all about understanding the behavior of clients and devices and applications and network services in the access network, because that's where we see the most consternation for IT guys that are trying to really just find and fix problems and scale their networks. Um, so you want to show the, the Voyant oh, Slides sure. uh, thing? So this site that I'm going to show you, is, it's really, uh, no one else can do this. Um, so um, what we've done is we've aggregated all the client data that, we've, that we analyze. And today our platform, our, our solution, uh, we, we look at over 17 million client devices. We're actually observing 17 million client devices from hundreds of customers now. Uh, commercial customers. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, onesie twosie customers. I'm talking about strategic big customers, people like Mayo, people like Tesla, people like Home Depot, uh, people like Stanford. Um, it goes across all, all vertical markets. Um, and what we're able to do, because we, we collect all this data and it's in the cloud, we're kind of in a unique position is that we can learn and correlate but even between different companies what's going on in the network from a, a myriad of different dimensions. Uh, as you probably know, we're a, a, an analytics platform that looks across the entire network. So we're not a, a siloed kind of solution. We don't, we're vendor agnostic. We don't really care what you're running in your network in terms of hardware vendors. We care about the data that, that we're analyzing and being able to put that data into some kind of context that helps the, the, the IT guys do their job better, faster, and more efficiently. And we'll talk a little bit more about some of the values there. Um, but as you can see here, we, we, we took some kind of things, some, some metrics that we thought were interesting, and we correlated them and, and, and aggregated them across all of our customer base to get you an idea of kind of what we're looking at. Now, this is, this is just a, a really a, a site that allows you to see um, kind of the scope and the breadth of, of, of what APs are running, what applications are running, what are the biggest problems that we see in networks across the stack. Um, and no one else can really do this because no one else has a cloud based analytics platform that, that can do this. And, and when we say platform, we mean platform. So let's go to the platform slide. Sure. Um, so a platform by definition is something that you can build on top of, something that can, you can actually build applications and services on top of that. Uh, and that's what we are. Um, so the last time we were here, we talked to you about new data sources that we were ingesting. Uh, we talked to you about client agents, and we talked to you about uh, NetFlow streams that we're now taking into our platform. Just to give you an understanding of what we do, um, we are a, a software kind of AI-based network analytics solution. Um, what that means is that we sit and we stare at your network. So there's a piece of software uh, that sits uh, off of a, a, a core switch or an intermediate switch that's really a collector. Um, and you're spanning traffic to that collector, and that collector does a couple things. It, it, it's, it's responsible for um, uh, ingesting the traffic, all data sources across the network, um, and it's responsible for uh, compressing and, and then uh, uh, encrypting and then sending that traffic to our, uh, to our back end, which is in AWS. Now that, that collector that we call a crawler, uh, it sits offline, so it's out of band, so we're not collecting packets, but we're analyzing packets. And what we do that no one else does is that we're literally looking at every single client network transaction from a time a device or a user uh, associates with a Wi-Fi access point or is on a wired connection. From the time they do that to the time they authenticate, the time they get an IP address, 
to the time they resolve a DNS, uh, resolve a domain, to the time they go across the WAN, to the time they hit an application, and everything in between. So we're looking at literally every network transaction, both in real time and historically, to really understand where problems lie that you can't see, um, and, and how to understand and validate and quantify what's going on in your network, instead of just uh, um, kind of hunting around and pulling logs from, from different network elements and, and trying to be a data scientist and correlate all that data up, up, and, down the, up and down the stack. And that's, that's unique to us. So we've, over the years since we launched, uh, now that we've got a critical mass in, uh, of, of customers that are using us and, and pouring their network data into our, our system, um, we've been able to just really learn from that. And, and that learning that we get we share with other customers, meaning one customer's, the things we learn from one customer's behavior can be shared with other customers anonymously. So they, they can understand given a, a given dimension, whether that's DNS performance or Wi-Fi performance, but we look at it all from the context of how it impacts the user experience. Um, and we, all we care about is, is the user experiencing the network the way you designed it to, to be experienced? And if not, where those problems lie? So last time we talked to you about WAN, and we talked to you about um, uh, client agents. Today we're gonna talk to you a little bit more about some new data sources that are taking us into new markets that we think are exciting and explosive for us. So this week, uh, we announced uh, support for native Citrix uh, traffic, uh, ICA sessions. Um, it doesn't, it's not sexy, but it's got teeth. Uh, if you look at the healthcare market, for example, uh, uh, major applications like Epic and Allscripts, the, you know, EHR, EMR applications that they rely on uh, use this data, and, and they've been really unable to, uh, to, to really correlate that data when there's a problem uh, that impacts patient care, for example. Uh, how do I know if, if, it's, if it's a login problem, if it's an application problem, if it's a Wi-Fi problem, if it's a, if it's a DHCP scoping problem, what, where's the problem? So we're able to kind of pinpoint and fix in, in a, a, a small amount of time relative to doing it manually any problems that exist relative to the user experience on a given application. So we announced that on Monday at, at him, the Him Show in, uh, in Florida. We also announced working with uh, a company called GE Health Services to look at telemetry data, uh, bedside monitors, for example, specific devices that are non, use non-proprietary protocols but are instrumental to the, the operation of a healthcare environment, for example. Um, so we're taking that traffic in, but we're not just taking it in and, and putting it on a pretty screen. We're correlating that with everything else that we see on the network. So you can understand if a, a telemetry device like a bedside monitor or infusion pump or an x-ray machine or what have you has an issue, is that issue, is it, is it a network problem? Is it a client problem? Where does that problem uh, reside? And what can you do to fix it? So not only do we actually look at the traffic, analyze it, and provide you with, okay, here's what's going on, here's what we're seeing from a baseline perspective, because we baseline everything that we, that we consume. So when we consume traffic and, and client uh, uh, activity on a network, all those network transactions, we baseline them all to establish what's normal. Once you know, know what's normal, then you can see if there's any deviation from that normal, uh, whether that's Wi-Fi, whether that's DNS, whether that's DHCP, whether that's Citrix applications, whether that's clients behaving on a network with a certain part of your network, whether that's an application and, and the response to that application. Now, keep in mind we're, a, um, uh, we're in the network access market, so we're, we're not in the data center. So we're, we care about what's going on in the, the access network itself, because that's where we see the majority of, of issues and changes happening that, that IT guys just can't keep up with. Um, so if you look at the, the, the slide here, you'll see all the different kinds of uh, uh, data that we ingest. So we're looking at syslog data from network elements. We're looking at uh, client data from, from actual clients to understand the behavior of the clients, what operating system they're running, uh, uh, what they're doing on the network, and how they're behaving with other parts of the network. We look at actual UC data as well. Or, so that, that crawler that I mentioned, not only the, it, it, it also talks to other devices in the network. So that crawler that, that's sitting, consuming traffic wired packets off the span port, it also is talking to wireless LAN controllers and getting AP metrics and getting client metrics from that. It's also talking to, via APIs, to things like Skype for Business, to things like um, uh, uh, Citrix applications, um, and other network elements in, in, in your network. So uh, it's important that we are able to uh, consume all that data and then measure it, correlate it, and baseline it 
so that you then have a single place where you can figure out, uh, in a kind of a, we call it a single source of truth. Because um, what we find is that when hardware vendors sell you a product, whether that's a Wi-Fi access point or wireless LAN, or whether that's DACP servers or whether that's you know, routers for WAN, they, they all give you some sort of analytics product. Um, and that's fine. Um, but it's only one portion of, of the picture. We're, we care about the entire picture. We care about providing context uh, to the entire network, whether that's uh, you, you know, a, a client device, an application in your network, a network service that you're running, and understanding how those things are all interacting and behaving together. Um, and no one else today really does that in any kind of holistic, holistic fashion that's not tied to a vendor. So we're not interested in, in we, we don't have the, the bias of selling more hardware products to you to get you to buy more hardware products or using software that only works with such and such. Um, that's, that's why the vendor agnostic thing is, is, is quite unique for us. Today, uh, what we're going to be demoing and showing to you is, um, is what we've done in terms of IoT. Uh, so we've always looked at client devices and, and, and characterized them and understood what clients are running on your network and what they're doing on your network. Um, what's our customers, though, uh, people like Tesla and people like uh, uh, Mayo and Mission, Mission Health, have started to see uh, new devices that are co coming into their network that are not necessarily IT sanctioned. They're being bought by line of business guys. Uh, it could be uh, uh, robots, uh, for example, in Tesla, they, they use these I IoT robots to do pr uh, production floor um, uh, operations. And those things are connected via Wi-Fi. Now, the IT guys don't necessarily buy them, but they're responsible for them. Um, and then there's a the security element as well. Now I've got these IoT devices on my network, what, where are they? What are they? What are they doing? How do I classify them? How do I, how do I secure them? How do I understand if they're behaving and performing properly? Um, it's, so IoT really isn't just a security problem. It's, a, it's a both a network performance and security issue. Um, and it's because we're staring at the network um, and we have so many cl uh, customers, we're kind of in a unique position to kind of help that market along. And it's become a really urgent issue uh, because there's a lot of money being spent on these IoT devices, and they want to be able to understand: uh, Are they getting the most value? Are those devices getting utilized properly, and are they behaving properly? And then there's the whole: Now I have to manage and monitor and secure them on the network. So t today, we're going to show you, for the first time, uh, the th stuff we've been building that kind of takes our platform to a whole different level in terms of new devices on the network. Um, what else do I want to say. So, so looking forward, uh, what, we, what we plan to do is to uh, launch this in the next couple months. Um, we already have customers now that are, that are using this, and this is really customer driven for us. So because we have some large scale customers, we've been able to build products, of a, a new IoT kind of application, if you will, or service, if you will, that, that works with everything else that we built. So we're not coming to market with a specific niche IoT, yet another box you have to put in your network. Uh, we're, we're, we're providing that in kind of a holistic end-to-end -end fashion. So there's a lot of niche players that you'll probably hear about over the coming months, and you, maybe you've already heard about them. They're bringing to market IoT devices, and the network uh, architecture is effectively the, the same. They're spanning traffic to a device, but that device is analyzing only IoT traffic with the purpose of looking at IoT issues and, and forensics. Uh, we're doing that as well, so they're really a feature on our platform. Uh, so their entire company and their entire focus has really become a feature on our platform because we're looking at way more than just IoT data in and of itself. And the same is true with every piece of data that we see across the stack. Uh, it's not just one thing, it's, it's everything in context. Um, and that's really helped us because as we see things in one customer environment, we can help apply that learning to our other customers on our, on our, on our platform, and we share that uh, information anonymously. So what customers can do on our platform that others just can't is they can actually say, okay, I want to look at other networks uh, that are my size, that are running Aruba APs that have you know, 30,000 users. And I want to see what their DNS performance is like from a user perspective. Or I want to see what Wi-Fi problems they're having or what kind of IoT devices they have and, and, and that, that, that kind of thing. And they can compare and contrast where they sit uh, relative to those industry benchmarks. And because we're aggregating all that traffic in the cloud, 
in AWS, um, we can uniquely provide that. And that's just something that other folks can't do. 